Welcome to the Navigraph Jeppesen Chart Reading Series. My name is Jason, and in this video, we're gonna take you through how to read an airport chart. You can see right behind me, we're standing here in Orlando International Airport, and we're gonna show you exactly how to navigate this airport. Jeppesen has laid out their charts very methodically. They have a heading section, a communication section, a plan view section, additional runway information, and finally, takeoff and alternate minimums. The reason why they'd put the heading the way it is, is because when these charts are printed, they actually are easier to flip. If you look at the right hand corner of the chart, you can actually see where you're going easier. And that's kind of why they laid it out like that. Now in the digital age, obviously when you're using your Navigraph app, things are a little bit easier. We can just click taxi and then the airport charts right there. We're gonna start on the upper left side of the chart. The first thing we're gonna look at is number one, and that's the ICAO slash the IATA information. In this particular case, Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar slash Mike Charlie Oscar, or MCO. Number two is the airport elevation. It's sitting at 96 feet. Number three is the latitude and longitude of the airport. Number four is actually the index of the chart. In this particular case, the 20-9 page. Number five is the chart revision date, 17 September of 21. Number six behind me is blank, but if there was a date in there, it'd be the effective date of the chart. So the two dates could be confusing. We have an issuance date or a revision date, and we have an effective date. What's the difference between the two of them? The revision date, or the issuance date is when the actual chart was issued or revised. The effective date is when that chart becomes effective. Now I know what you're saying, Jason, on this chart, there is no effective date. That means that the, the date of the revision date or the issuance date, the date that you receive the chart becomes effective. Number seven is the actual airport name. In this particular case, Orlando slash International. Number eight, the geographic location of this airport. You guessed it, Orlando, Florida. And finally, number nine is the Jeppesen logo. We hope you enjoyed this lesson for our heading for the charts. I know it's very brief, but the next lesson is gonna be our communications lesson, which we're gonna get into who to talk to, air traffic control, who's clearance delivery, what's ATIS mean, and where to find those frequencies on this chart. Remember, at Navigraph, it's all about simulated flight, real-world navigation.